Hi, I'm CJ Newburn. And for the compute software part of NVIDIA, I drive a lot of what we do for HPC. We put together with Scott McMillan some content here on HPC containers and modules that I think you might be interested in. So I'd like to first talk about HPC Container Maker, also called HPC. So many of you uh, will want to take a container that you need and download it from someplace like NGC, the NVIDIA GPU Cloud, or you may want to build your own. So when you go to build your own, you want to reduce the development effort by being able to use building blocks for common HPC components. Maybe it's FFTW, maybe it's OpenMPI or UCX, and you don't really want to worry about where to download it from, what the best practices are, what the latest version is. You more or less want to just write a single recipe in Python where you can say plus equal open MPI and a version number that then can be used to support multiple targets and architectures, whether it's ARM, open power, x86. Maybe you as a developer don't particularly want to go and learn how to optimize your space by using multi-stage containers and you'd like a tool to just do that for you. You'd like the flexibility of being able to get a Docker or Singularity image. And you can do all this by just uh, downloading it with a pip install HPC or a conda install or go get it at GitHub. And the diagram that you see on the right-hand side kind of it describes the space that we have that's covered by this. So we're always continuing to innovate what it is that we're offering in this space. Scott does a really great job of keeping up on top of that. Among the things that we've added since Supercomputing 19 are the NVIDIA HPC SDK, which is sort of a user level SDK for whatever it is that you would need for build environments, libraries, et cetera. Um, and it includes NBC++, the, formerly the PGI compiler. We've come out with some new libraries like AMGX, uh, also Magma, many of you use also. And uh, we're always trying to not just take the sort of the basics, but the whole frameworks and environments and miscellaneous that people need, like the GNU auto tools or the new communications libraries. We just launched something called NVSchmem, which is open Shmem that's optimized for GPUs. Uh, PMIX is now available. Um, we bought a little company uh, called Millinox, a networking company, and they had HPCX, so we've integrated that. And we made it easier to profile with things like NP in, uh, Insight systems as well. So I'd like to tell a little bit of a story of uh, something that's of great concern to many of us in COVID-19. So there are some folks at UC Riverside uh, that were granted about 800,000 hours on Azure to do some uh, work. And uh, this involved their application called DFTB Plus. They knew how to run it locally, they didn't know how to run it on Azure. They built it with HPC, which made it really easy to run on Azure. In the process of that, they upgraded and were using uh, on that system a newer version of CUDA. They realized that there were some bugs with Magma that were keeping them from using all the GPUs that got fixed. And in the end, the net performance improvements they got were equivalent to half a million dollars if they had been buying time on Azure. Kind of cool. Chromax guys have told us that they're now uh, integrated HPC into their build and CI CD systems, and they're using this uh, for Docker Hub container image generation. We've been interacting with some folks on the Summit supercomputer. They're still working towards being able to apply HPC in for the power environment. They're currently running into some challenges with Spectrum MPI licensing, uh, something we want to work on with IBM on. And uh, they're finding that in order to build the images, they need to have root privilege. So they're uh, considering building up a, a container builder server. Uh, so next I'd like to talk about something completely different. A lot of us have been focused on sort of um, making and building these containers. A lot of us in old schoolers uh, are familiar with module commands uh, for different environments. We have existing workflows and we kind of want to minimize the learning curve that we go on. So these can be used to benefit, get all the benefits of the containers, including portability and reuse. You can still go and take containers from NGC and other places, and then use customizable LMOD module files to transparently map the host commands into the Singularity containers. There's an interactive way to do that, uh, module load PyTorch and Python and import Torch. Uh, or a multi-node um, example with MPI run. So you can use local container image files if they're available or else just download them or cache ones from NGC or elsewhere on the fly. 
And you can get this uh, and your uh, friendly media GitHub to be able to try this out. Thanks very much and enjoy the rest of the show.